to face a lot and we don't necessarily know what it's like to be to be a man you know so sometimes we're more forceful about it but it's not because we don't care Right? I understand that men need protection just as well as women do, that men also need safe spaces, that they also need educational opportunities, and they also need the, the chance to make their capabilities into opportunities. And I would like to say to all my young men that I need you as well. I need you out here to help me change the world. So it's up to you to push and fight and get out here with me and to pay attention to what the world needs. It's up to all of us. It really is. And, and I'm excited to see all of you out there in the field working with me. I intend to get down to the nitty gritty, get my sleeves up and get to work. <laughs> For single parent families. You know, I'm blessed to have been raised by parents that poured everything into me. I never really had to face any type of um, anger or, or anything like that with my family. And I would like to say that it's the same thing. It's the same concept. Really, the world can be changed with this idea of understanding and respecting each other. And I've seen that from my parents. I've seen that from all of my family members. And it has honestly helped to pour into the way I react to other people. You know, I, I didn't necessarily have to have both of my parents be together to still have a strong family unit, and so I can say it's possible. It is very possible. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Christmas. Yes. <laughs> well, Christmas itself is not a very big deal to me, but it allows um, families to come together because we get some time off. So I make this what I call the Bailey family holiday, and all of my family will be coming together. I make a very big deal about it. I mean, I make a flyer in January. I send out assignments for gifts because I believe that a strong family unit in general is important for growth, and I don't want my family to take for granted the advantage that we have of such a loving and warm family. And also I've seen the benefits in terms of mental health, in terms of overall health, being around family. And so I try to make sure that my family gets that opportunity to be around each other and to fellowship and to refuel for the next year. So I'm excited for our holiday plans. Yes. misconception in terms of what? Jamaica. You know, you know what is honestly awesome? Jamaica to the world is a happy and a vibrant place. I can honestly say. When I got to, um, when I got to London and I got to spend time with all these people from all across the world, when you said Jamaica, they just knew without you having to say very much else and their faces lit up. So I'm, I'm grateful that, you know, every country has its ups and downs, but I'm grateful that my country still to the world, you know, has this um, presence of joy and love and warmth and happiness and can't ball in our life, man. <laughs> you know, I love that. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes. Hi. How are you? Yes. Um, there is, we, I have been the franchise holder for 40 years, and he is amazing. Um, I have absolutely no problem with him. He's a wonderful man. I intend 100% to work with him. If there is any issues, which often happens in, in around the world, so it's not a problem, I think that's something we'd rather discuss with them, with respect, and not you. Thank you. be honest with you, if I could come to Jamaica and say yes tomorrow, I'd cancel everybody else. That's the truth. But you know, it is 
costly, and the government have to look at the costs and weigh it up against what the needs are here. Although I would say, in, in defense of Miss World for the Jamaican people, um, China asked us to come to China and help them promote a place called Sanya. It was Hainan Island. No visitors, absolutely empty, one small hotel, one being built that was called the Sheraton. We stayed in that. Um, having put the show on there, the next year we put it on because they wanted us to stay, and the next year, and the next year. But let me tell you, the tourism went zooming up, not because um, they had anything more special than you did. You've got beautiful beaches. You've got surroundings that everyone would love. But you know, you need to let people know the door is open. Sometimes you get negative press. You get a few people playing up, and therefore they think, oh, don't go there, it's dangerous. It isn't dangerous. It's, it's ready. It needs tourism. You were talking earlier about helping mothers and babies. People need work. And that's the truth. And let's face it, it's the truth. They need work. They need more hotels. They need tourism. Because you need tourism. And we all need tourism. So if we can show the good side, which is the majority of places and people here, we can do it. But at the same time, you would go mad with your government if they paid us to do it. The reason I have to pass is because it costs me a lot of money to get everybody here. Funnily enough, I don't get, I'm not good with money and usually I don't get paid. But anyway, that's my problem. But yeah, it does cost money and you have to prepare to put that in. But to put it in, you get so much out of it because we spend a month showing everyone what Jamaica's about, what the people are about, what Blue Mountain is about, what your Torrias is about, what your food is like. You know, when you, you look at what you eat on the mountainside, you can go up the hill. You can eat anything you like from a stall that's tasty. So, you know, it's up to you, but you've got to see if you can afford to do it. And I, I, I do anything to get it here, but I have to be realistic. I can't run on nothing. But let's hope one day we can get it here. <laughs> I will just um, say, let's hope one day. We can do it here. We have explored it in the past, right, Mrs. Molly? We have explored it in we, the past. We have, that's why I know the answer. <laughs> and um, for Jamaica, nothing is impossible. We just have to work at it. Okay? But we, we are hopeful that we will be able to do so one day. Okay, so uh, uh, one more question. Just, just before, I'd just like to remind you of the...